Is the big three in trouble? Jamaican sprinting's legacy is nothing short of extraordinary. It is characterized by remarkable performances from a small nation that has consistently outperformed larger countries on the global stage. This journey began in 1948 with Arthur Wynne's groundbreaking Olympic gold in the 400 meters and has since been defined by numerous world-class athletes, particularly in the realm of sprinting. But as we approach the 2024 Paris Olympics, can the legendary Big Three, Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, and Sharika Jackson, reclaim their dominance? Or is it time for new sprint queens to take the throne? In the sport of track and field, most countries are expected to have at least one dominant athlete in a particular event. However, in the cases of countries such as Jamaica and the United States, they have been fortunate enough to have several world-class athletes across various disciplines. Mounting the podium at a major championship, such as the Olympic Games, can become tedious. But doing it with your countrymen or women makes the event even better. People from their nations beam with pride, knowing that the athletes have put them on the map. Despite its small population of less than 3 million people, Jamaica has emerged as the most consistent Commonwealth country in the realm of track and field. This legacy dates back to the 1948 London Olympics, when Arthur Wint secured the first Olympic gold medal in the 400 meters, marking the beginning of a rich history of Jamaican athletic prowess. During that time, the men were mostly dominant in the sport, and the women were playing catch-up. It was Merlin Otis' 1980 Moscow Olympic bronze medal effort in the 200 meters that brought light to the Jamaican women in track and field. This performance has paved the way for the current big three of Shelley and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, and Sharika Jackson. Since 2021, the nicknamed Big Three have dominated the 100 meters and 200 meters at the World Championships and Olympic levels. Shelley and Fraser Price has been the most successful of the three athletes with her five World Championship 100 meters titles and two Olympic titles over the 100 meters. Elaine Thompson Hera has been the most successful at the Olympics by virtue of winning double gold in the 100 meters and 200 meters during the last two Olympic Games. She is also the fastest woman alive in the 100 meters with her 10.54 second run done at the 2021 Prefontaine Classic. Sharika Jackson has been the most consistent of the three athletes in the 200 meters. She has won the last two World Championship gold medals over the distance. Her 21.41 seconds at the 2023 Budapest World Championship makes her the fastest woman alive. Since dominating the 100 meters at 200 meters, the big three seem to be diminishing in this crucial 2024 Paris Olympic year. So far, Sharika Jackson has run four races, one over the 100 meters with a time of 11.03 seconds and three over the 200 meters with her best time being 22.69 seconds. Elaine Thompson Hera has had several coaching changes within the last three seasons. For this season, she has done two 100 meters, and her best time has been less than credible 11.30 seconds to finish ninth at the Prefontaine Classic. For Shelly and Fraser Price, it is unknown about her Olympic campaign because the last time she competed was on the 4x100 meters relay at the 2023 Budapest World Championship, a race in which she was injured. However, she could open her season at the Jamaican Olympic Trials and make the team like she did last year. The 2024 Paris Olympic year is quite unpredictable, and the Big Three's lack of performance has made it worse. The questions remain, can the Big Three return to their best? Or will Shakari Richardson or Julian Alfred take over from the Jamaican Sprint Queens? Now that you've heard about the incredible journey of Jamaica's Big Three and their quest for the 2024 Paris Olympics, we want to hear from you. Do you think Shelley and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, and Sharika Jackson can reclaim their dominance? Or will rising stars like Shakara Richardson and Julian Alfred take over? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. We love reading your insights. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates and exclusive content. This is Caribbean Focus Sports. See you in the next video.